Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, the Verkada Access Control tutorial videos. This is actually my first top up video because as we uh, release new features, I always have to come back and give you uh, updates on any new features or anything else that might have changed. And today I actually have a special guest all the way from down under, Dion. Dimi, how are you? I'm fine, mate. Might, Great to be uh, here. Might uh, want to introduce yourself? Yeah, so I'm Dion Taylor from uh, Australia, and uh, we're currently in the UK with a use case for customers globally uh, with an access control, um, which is this behind us. We've created this as a use case for customers who need to know safety of crew, safety of assets, with also a visual camera to make sure that people are badging in and badging out for access control right people on the right space at the right time. Nice, nice. And that's actually great timing. And that's why I wanted to be on here to, to showcase this device is because uh, over the last few quarters, we have launched uh, in and out badging, but most importantly, come uh, February the 22nd, uh, we're also complementing that with areas and anti-passback. So for those of you who have followed Verkada, for the last few years, you are probably aware that in and out badging was possible, but it wasn't really clean. And I'm mm. sure, Dion, how long you've worked with Verkada now? Yeah, so I've currently been a partner of Verkada since the, the inception in Australia about four and a half years ago. Um, so when the product came into Australia, obviously it was a bit of a game changer, um, a disruptor, as we all say. When I got to my hands on the product, I saw that it was going to change the landscape of security now moving into building full building management rather than just CCTV. Mm. So I'm sure you're, you're uh, quite aware that obviously uh, the in and out badging, which again, not most, most people don't really use, uh, wasn't really clean, right? So you get mm. like an uh, AC41 back in the day, that was mm. our first controller, right? You had to use two different cassettes. You had to set them up at two different doors, one in, one out. So the reporting wasn't clean. And then call the Verkada rep and be like, hey, can I get a discount here? Because I'm actually just using this for one door. Mm. Um, so I was personally very excited back at the end of last year when the product team was uh, announcing the proper support for in and out badging together with the AC12. So that's the single door controller. Mm. And that's the reason why the AC12 actually has double sets of ports for both Wigand and Verkada based readers is it's not a two door controller. Is a single door controller but supports in and out badging, right? Mm. It's the same for the AC42 and 62. You will still need to use uh, two ports. However, when you set them up in command, you can set them up as an in and out door, meaning that it's just a single door to look at. You'll just see the directions of travel, uh, but also more importantly, it's just a single license as well. Remember that as opposed to cameras and sensors, which you have one device, one license, with access control is well, one device, and then you have a every single door with its own license and mm. again just you know, not to penalize people that might get let's say a 16 door controller they only need 12 doors mm. you know, they don't need to, to kind of pay for that so it's great that we support in and out badging the next feature release will see the introduction of areas so what's an area right so we define an area as part of a site or a sub site and each area has to have at least one entry and one exit door you can just have one area per site or per subsite. And this gives us the ability to understand how many people are actually in that area at the same time. So that's kind of coming back to your mm. use case there of, you know, onboard safety. Can we actually look from anywhere in the world and understand who's on a particular ship at any point, and, right? And, and that's exactly right. And why the AC12 was so important here, because the AC42 with the size, obviously it was, it was not going to be compact. What we've been able to do here is build everything inside the one unit. So all you need is you know, a CAT6 cable out the back to a PoE. Um, if you're using the camera, you need a PoE++, but we're able to now put this anywhere remotely. Um, obviously for in the maritime industry, people in safety of crew at any one time on a boat or a ship uh, or anything in the, in the sea or in the air, it's, it's a unit that can be, um, because it's so compact, we, we don't need much infrastructure or, or architecture behind that. And, this unit can literally, as, as we know with Vicata, plug and play. So it was, it was a very easy uh, build for us to, to make this so user-friendly because of the products we can use mm. on that one interface. Yeah, nice, simple, scalable as well, mm. right? And now with uh, anti-passback, anti right? So what is anti-passback? Now that we know who's in a particular area, it is highly unlikely that they can use their credentials to enter again while still present, right? 
it's either the credentials are cloned or that particular person passed back their credential to somebody else. Now, there are obviously security implications for this. Um, sometimes this is more about making sure that people are at the right places at the right times. Uh, and obviously with the introduction of anti-pass back, you not only can get alerts in case that happens in real time, uh, but also have the ability if you do a hard anti-pass back to deny the card being used a second time. And that's what we're gonna show you mm -hmm. uh, in the demo. We also do have soft pass back in which you just get alerts and the card can still be used. So it's really up to you depending on your use case. So before we show the demo, I'm quite uh, curious, uh, Dion, how do you manage to, to build this and kind of get uh, uh, the people that are watching just kind of round down, just an idea of yeah. how you So how done? I guess what happened was the first thing was a customer's use case was uh, great, cameras are fantastic, Dion, but how do we know who's on the ship at any one time? Uh, the access control side was to get access control, let's say on a ship or a vessel or, or, or something that's in the air, it's it's very hard because the infrastructural architecture isn't there. So majority of these vessels will have a network. So they have the network switch PoE and usually it would be a four or 5G router. So I knew that we could do something. At that stage, like you said, Vicata hadn't brought out the AC12. So we were looking at the AC42. Month later, the AC12 came out and it was a bit- Lucky you. Yeah, you're lucky me. So it was a beautiful moment for us to be able to then start getting our heads around how we're gonna design this um, so we can just give it to a customer like we do with the trials with Vicata. It's a very powerful tool to have where we can just pop it on the desk, plug it in and they can trial it. Like we're doing in the UK for four hours north this afternoon. We're going to be on site with the customer. They've got the infrastructure already on the, on the, on the vessel. They're going to plug it in and they can start playing with that within the first 20 minutes. So we designed this to match the Vicata style. Us as a company um, at AI High, we, we believe that the look is also just as important as the functionality. So why we've made it look like the big V. Um, no, I like it is. Yeah, yeah. So for, for us, it's, it's about obviously the use case, but also the feel. Um, so this is why we've done this. This is all out of acrylic. Um, I have a team back home where we design these things and we fab fabricate them, they're all handmade. We have routers and CAD. So these are all specific, waterproof. Everything is in, enclosed, so everything's protected. And it's um, you know, it's pretty robust. So, you know, we can we can design this in any way, shape, or form, depending on what the actual asset is. So this can be varied. This is just the first sort of prototype, and then the first design of um, what we've come up with for this specific use case. Mm. And again, like like remember that uh, um, you know this idea of areas and who's in etc. can be used in different ways, right? So even from like roll call to payroll, etc. Uh, mm -hmm. So all these kind of features that we released the last year that I'm very excited about kind of uh, gives us this opportunity to kind of address these use cases that again, when I joined Vercada three years ago, they were not a possibility. No. Right? So now, again, get you get your camera, uh, you know, you get your readers, they all kind of go back to the AC12. AC, the AC12 does power it as well. Remember, you need PoE++ mm. uh, for the AC12 to, um, to allow the downstream port to then power the camera, but then you get uh, a all in one system that's actually ready to go. So I think with that, you just quickly show a demo Fantastic. of how it works. Beautiful, let's do it. Okay, so now we have a, a visitor card here. You see that on the dashboard, you have uh, just a single uh, in and out the door defined. If I go in within the settings of it, you'll see that we have one area already defined. Inside the area settings, you'll be able to see what kind of anti-pass back if you, if you enforce it. Again, this is, uh, this is optional, you have soft or hard, and you can know the, uh, the entrance uh, and also the exit uh, doors as well. You need at least one, but you can obviously have mm. multiple. So at the moment, uh, looking around, uh, there's nobody inside, but uh, let's use your card, right? So tapping in. Okay, you can see that Dion has uh, logged in. And now if you just tap out, let's say Dion is off of the ship. If you go inside here, no items are found. Now let's see what happens if you tap in twice. So let's say tapping once. Okay, tapping twice. And now we know that uh, Dion is in violation. Again, as this is so fast back, we expect the card to still work. So he can, he can obviously like still enter the area. Uh, and from here, as an admin, you can actually clear the violation, whether that's hard or uh, soft. Most importantly is the integration with uh, the video, as 
with everything Mercada, right? So you'll see here you have a full uh, video accountability of what happened, who used the card, very importantly, if the credentials were cloned, mm. for example. I think with this in mind, I wanted to uh, thank our guest. I will drop his uh, LinkedIn details in the comment. So if you want to get in touch with him and ask him about this or uh, any other ideas, I'm sure that he'll be more than happy to uh, speak to you. So, Please do, anytime. So yeah, thank you very Thanks, much. Thanks, Timmy. And Thanks, uh, come back soon. Thank you.